Hello Kido, Sir E is here, and for this video, we will talk about the characteristics of images formed by concave mirror. <laughs> if you did the activity from the previous video, you can see or maybe observe that there is an existing relationship between the image characteristics and the location where an object plays in front of a concave mirror. These are the characteristics of images formed by concave mirrors. In terms of size, we can have magnified, reduced, or the same size as the object. For the attitude, it's either be inverted or upright. For location, it is either same side or behind the mirror. Same side is also described as in front the mirror. And lastly, the type of image can be real or virtual. Let's differentiate first what is a real image and a virtual image. Real image is formed by actual intersection of reflected rays and can be projected on a screen. For us to tell that an image form is a real image, you have to remember this. It should be formed in front of the mirror. And it is always upside down. Or we describe it as inverted relative to the object. On the other hand, virtual image has no interaction of the actual rays, but of extended rays. And we will form virtual image if the image is formed behind the mirror and if it is upright relative to the object. So these are the differences between real image and virtual image. Now, let us check your answers for these five cases. Previously, we already answered or used case number one as our example for the discussion. And we have learned that if we place the object beyond C or center of curvature, then the result will be or the image will be reduced in size, it is inverted, it is formed in front of the mirror, thus it is a real image. This time, let us check your answers for cases number two to five. What if the object is placed at C? The result will look like this. The size is same as the object, the attitude, it is inverted, its location is in front of the mirror, therefore it is a real image. How about case number three between F and C? And this will be the result of the case number three. The image is formed behind C. Let's describe its characteristics. It is magnified when it comes to size. It is inverted. It is formed in front of the mirror. Therefore, it is a real image. How about case number four? We place the object at F, or the principal focus, or also called as focal point. And the result for case number four, no image formed. For this case, it is impossible to form any image. This is the technique, or this is the scientific explanation for those mirror that is used in science sent rooms wherein when you stand at a certain point, there is no image 
seen. Or when you are the one looking at the mirror at that certain point, you will not see yourself. How about the last case? If we place the object in front of F, the image will appear like this. Let's describe its characteristic. The image formed in fifth case is magnified. And as you observe, its orientation or attitude is upright. And it is formed behind the mirror. Therefore, the type of image formed by our last case is virtual image. And we are done. I hope it is clear now on how to draw the ray diagram of the images formed in the concave mirror. Please check my next video about convex mirror. See you again and enjoy learning. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>